a recession is looming. Are you ready? In this video, I'm going to show you six ways that you can prepare your business for recession. Hi there, my name is Annette Ferguson and I am CEO of Annette & Co, a UK-based accounting firm. I am a chartered accountant and certified profit first professional. We know that a recession is looming, if not here already, and it is important to be prepared. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you six ways that you can prepare your business for a recession. Whether you're just starting out or have been in business for years, this video will help you ride out the storm. So grab a notepad and let's dive in. Number one, and it may be the most obvious of all, but that is cutting costs by reducing or eliminating unnecessary expenses. A close analysis of your budget, forecast or profit plan, whatever you happen to call it, will help you identify what areas you can cut back. I recommend that you think about your business expenses in, under the categories of which are 100% necessary for my business to keep the proverbial lights on and which are delivering me a positive return. Any other expenses you need to really think very carefully about whether you continue with those or not. Some of these decisions may be tough decisions, but they will help with the longevity of your business. Perhaps you can renegotiate things with people you're even already in contract with. And number two, reviewing your pricing strategy and making the necessary adjustments. There are a few key adjustments you can make to weather a recession by looking at your pricing. The first is potentially offering discounts and promotions, but you need to be really careful here because what you don't want to end up doing is offering discounts and promotions to people who would have been more than happy to pay the full price for your offer. If you do that, all you end up doing is slashing your profit margins. Making sure that you are strategic about how you offer discounts and promotions if you choose to do that, so you are targeting those people who perhaps would have not purchased ordinarily. Many people look for a good deal in a recession, so you can make sure that you are pricing yourself competitively by making use of discounts and promotions. And the second is to review your costs. Costs always come into pricing because of profit margins. So making sure that the costs of overheads, materials and labor that go into the things that make up your pricing is going to be important. Remember that, of course, every penny counts and we need to be as efficient as we possibly can. And the third again is linked and it is evaluating your margins. Take a close look at your profit margins. Ensure that they are at least in line with industry norms. If your margins are too thin, you might struggle to weather a downturn. The third way to help your business through a recession is to diversify your product line. Now I'm using the term product interchangeably here to mean products, programs, services, or offerings. There is of course the age old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And if you've been consuming my content for any length of time, you will also know that I say not to spread yourself too thin when it comes to all your offerings that you have available because you can do exactly that, spread yourself too thin, and you can also confuse the market as to what you have available. So there is a fine bal balance here when it comes to diversifying your product line. But a diversified product line does help in a recessionary period. Not only will you be able to tap into new markets potentially, but you can also hedge against fluctuations in demand for some of your other offerings. So by taking this proactive approach, you can really help with the sustainability of your revenue in your business. And if you are getting value from this video, please do make sure that you like and subscribe. 
And the fourth thing to help prepare your business for a recession is streamlining your operations to improve efficiencies. As any business owner knows, streamlined operations are important for success. They mean that you increase efficiency and typically also reduce costs, therefore increasing your profit margins, which also means that you make your business more resilient for more tougher economic situations. There are many ways to streamline the operations of your business, but one is through automation. Automation can help reduce the need for manual labor. It can also help reduce errors, particularly human errors that can be introduced. And it can help free up resources within your business to use for other things. The fifth way to prepare your business for a recession is to explore new markets and or customer bases. Even if your current service offerings are going well, it's important to have a contingency plan in place in case the economy takes a turn for the worse and goes against you. By diversifying your customer base, you'll be able to weather the storm a little bit easier. One way to find new markets is to use social media and other online platforms to reach potential customers who might be interested in what you have to offer. There are billions of people online and some of them might just be interested in what you have. If only they knew about it. Another way to reach new markets might be to partner with businesses who have your ideal clients as their clients. You can team up with them to reach a whole other group of people who might just be interested in what you have to offer. And finally, don't forget about the power of word of mouth marketing. If you provide excellent programs, products or services and treat your customers well, then they will more than likely say positive things about you to their friends, family and online. Word of mouth marketing is still one of the most powerful ways to reach new customers, even in the age of social media. So take steps to explore new markets and customer bases. And number six, prepare a marketing plan for tougher times. Having a marketing plan in place that can adjust to consumer spending habits is crucial. One way to do this is to focus on quality over quantity. Rather than trying to sell as much as possible, focus on high quality items, again, products, programs, services, or offerings in a more challenging economic period. Higher quality things sell better even when money is tight. Another strategy is to look at needs-based marketing, highlighting the way that your product or service can fulfill a need that your customer or client has. But recession-proofing your business does not need to be complicated, but it does need to be thought through. By taking some of these simple steps, you can recession-proof your business. And if you have any questions, I would love if you want to reach out to me. You can reach me at yt at annetteandco.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you do hit that like and subscribe button and make sure that you turn on the bell so you know next time I upload a video about all things business and money.